Good morning, everyone. My name is Shannon, and I am coming to you from Jiva Yoga Center in Hilton Head, South Carolina. Uh, this is where I practice, it's where I teach, and normally there are many students around me. Today, it's just me. In this new space of social distancing, um, I'm here on my own, on my mat, but the good news is you can still practice with me. I'm going, going to take you through a 60 minute power hour class and you'll be able to find it on the Jiva Yoga Center YouTube site. So without further ado, let's get started in child's pose. You bring your big toes to touch, take your knees wide, sink your hips back toward your heels, rest your forehead on the floor and stretch your arms over your head. And start to breathe consciously in through your nose, out through your nose. And use this pose to get centered and to get present into what's happening right now. And also use the pose to establish a refuge, a place to come back to at any time in practice if you start to lose your breath or you get a little overwhelmed. Take one more big breath in. Empty it out. Inhale, rise up to tabletop. Stack your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over your knees. Now drop your belly toward the floor. Lift your collarbones and your tailbone up toward the ceiling. Breathe in. As you breathe out, reverse that. Draw your belly to your spine, chin, chin to your chest and round. Do a couple more like that and then partner your breath up with your movement. Just wake up your spine. You can add some additional movements. Maybe you take some hip circles or some neck rolls. After you've worked it out a bit, come to neutral. Curl your 10 toe pads under. Drop your belly, look up. Exhale, press back to downward facing dog and move around a little bit. Pedal out your feet, shake your head out a little bit. And create a downward facing dog that's custom tailored to this body, the body you woke up into. And for me, it usually means adding about a half a foot of space front to back between my hands and my feet. So walk your fingertips a couple inches toward the front edge of your mat. Send your heels toward the back edge of your mat and bend your knees a little bit. Get more of a dog tilt in your tail. Send it up to the sky. Maintain your long spine and from there, you can start to straighten your legs. Now open your eyes and see one physical point in your environment. Maybe the back edge of your mat. And take a big breath in. Open your mouth, breathe out. Ha. Ah. Walk your feet together. Inhale, lift your right leg up to the ceiling. Spread out your ten toes. Now bend your upper knee and send your upper leg to the left. Now press your palms firmly into the floor and bring some muscle energy to your legs, to your upper arms, your quadriceps and your triceps, pull them onto the bones. Breathe in, bring your upper foot to the mat. Switch sides, left leg go high, spread out your toes, bend your upper knee and stack the left hip over your right. Make sure your bottom leg is strong and straight. If you Lift and lower your bottom heel a couple times like you're pumping a gas pedal. And keep your belly pulling in. Engage from the Yadavana. Belly to spine. Big breath in. Look forward from your core strength. Walk up to the front of your mat and land in Ragdoll. Take your feet hip distance. Bend your knees generously. Catch your elbows with your hands. Lay your belly on your thighs and drop your head toward the floor. Move around a little bit here. Shift your weight around left and right, forward and back. 
Bring some life into your feet. Wiggle your toes around. Explore the big toe mound, baby toe mound, center of each heel. You get heavier and heavier in your torso. Send your forearms toward the floor and tilt your sitting bones up to the ceiling. You get a good stretch across the back of your legs. Stay committed to your breath. And breathe bigger than your thoughts. And clear the space between your ears. Okay, breathe out. Bring your hands to the floor. Walk your feet together. Ground your feet into earth. Bring your hands to your hips. Through a flat back, press through your feet. Rise up to stands. Straighten your arms up over your head for extended mountain pose. And stretch up tall. Get long in your lateral body. Stretch out your fingers. Look up, breathe in. Bring your palms together and your thumb knuckles to heart center. And as a community, we'll open together with one ohm. Breathe in. Clear it out. Inhale for ohm. Ohm. Extended mountain pose. Exhale, bring your palms through heart center, bow forward, empty, empty. Halfway lift to a flat back. Step to high plank position. And see your hands, make sure that your index and middle finger knuckles are pointing straight ahead on 12 o'clock. And then see your feet, move your heels forward over the mounds of each big toe. Lift your chin away from your chest. Now tighten up your triceps, your quadriceps, and grow an inch longer from your tailbone through the crown of your head. On your next in-breath, move forward and come halfway down to Chaturanga, or you can rest your whole body on the floor. Upward facing dog or low cobra if your hips are down. Now press through your palms, the tops of your feet, and move your hip bones forward toward your wrist creases and take your shoulders to your back. Take one more breath in. Press your hips back, downward facing dog. Ha. Huh. Right back to your gaze, eyes on one point. Now steady your feet, look at your inner ankles, pull them back and press your outer ankles down and notice how that gives you more length in your mid to lower back. Send your inner thighs up toward the ceiling. Big breath in, exhale out, look forward, walk or jump to the front of your mat, halfway lift, bow forward, lean into it, so the top of your head down, sweep up, extended mountain, pull the air in from your fingertips all the way to the base of your lungs, exhale, bow forward, halfway lift, lengthen your back, High to low plank on one exhalation. Upward facing dog. Pull your chest through your upper arms. So go back. Downward facing dog. Ha. And check out if you're holding any tension in the back of your neck or your jaw. Loosen that up. And instead, put the tension in your tricep muscles, your quadricep muscles. Breathe in. Empty out, look forward, walk or jump to your hands. Halfway lift, bow forward, sweep up, fill your lungs, fill. Exhale, bow forward, empty completely, move your hips forward over your heels. Halfway lift, low plank step, you could jump to a bent elbow, upward dog, downward facing dog. Now on that transition, if you are choosing to jump to Chaturanga, you always want to land in a bent elbow so that there's no strain in your shoulders. Breathe in. Breathe out. Feet to hands, halfway lift. 
Bow down. One more salutation. A rise up. Get as tall as you can. Get some altitude. Go up. Maybe a little upper back bend. Exhale. Bow forward. Halfway lift. Chaturanga. Low plank. Upward dog. Downward facing dog. Back to your gaze. Listen for your breath. And know that it is your listening and not your knowledge that makes the difference. If you're starting to think your way through this, just give that up and listen for your breath. And move point to point. It's that simple. Take a breath in. Breathe out. Walk or jump forward. Halfway lift. Bow down. Thunderbolt. Bend your knees. And sit back and down into the center of each heel. And look at your feet. Make sure that you're, you have the tops of your feet into view. So you can take your shin bones back. And lift your belly up and away from your thighs. And bring a charge to your upper arms. Tighten up your triceps. Spread out your fingers. And on your next in-breath, sit an inch closer to your mat. Turn the corners of your mouth up. Breathe in. Bow forward. Halfway lift. Low plank, upward dog, downward facing dog, right foot forward, warrior one. Drop your back heel into your mat, straighten your arms up over your head, and we'll stay here for a couple breaths. Create your foundation. Some of you might opt to walk your right foot over to the right a little bit so you're not on a tightrope. You want to find a, a space of stability and also some freedom so you can move your pelvis. You want to lift the front of your pelvis up. Drop your tailbone toward the mat. Now straighten your arms and take a really big breath in. Stretch your upper spine to the ceiling. Now go to your mat, low plank. Upward dog. Downward dog, left side warrior one. And trust your intuition. Listen to the inner intelligence of your body. Maybe you need to add or subtract front to back, left to right, between your feet. Essentially, you want your front foot on 12 o'clock, back foot somewhere between 2 and 3 o'clock. Now tighten up your back leg, pull your belly in, and take a really big breath in, stretch through your lateral body. Good, chaturanga. Upward dog. Downward facing dog. Together, breathe in. And open your mouth. Breathe out. Now you've got all of the, the parts. We're going to put it together in one nice big composition, a dance, so to speak. So keep it simple. Listen for your breath. Move point to point. Move and be moved. Breathe in. Breathe out. Walk or jump forward. Halfway lift. Bow forward. Thunderbolt. Exhale, bow. Flat back. Low plank. Upward dog. Downward dog. Right side, warrior one. Pull into your core. Press into the floor. And inhale all the way up past your fingertips. Exhale, float. Charong. Upward dog. Downward dog. Left side, warrior one. Pull in, press down. Uproot your spine. Big stretch. Charong. Upward dog, downward facing dog, right back to your gaze, inviting ease, and that might mean for you taking a momentary child's pose. Manage your energy, breathe in, exhale out, look forward, beat the hands, halfway lift, bow down, thunderbolt. Bow. Lengthen. Low plank. Upward dog. Downward dog. Right foot forward. Warrior one. Smooth sailing. Rise up. Low plank. Upward dog. Downward dog. Left side. Warrior one. Follow your breath. You don't need to rush. And you don't need to postpone. Low plank. Upward dog. 
downward facing dog. So use these salutations as an opportunity to awaken and clear away any stuck energy, not just physical energy, but any mental energy, emotional energy. Whole practice is about clearing your space so that you can create space for something new. Breathe in. Breathe out, forward, walk, or jump. Halfway lift. Bow. Thunderbolt, spark up your fingers or toes. Bow down. Halfway lift. Low plank, upward dog. Downward dog, right side, warrior one. Inhale, hit the peak of your in-breath. Low plank, and pause at the bottom of your out-breath. Upward dog. Downward dog, left side, warrior one. Rise up, big smile, stretch, open. Low plank, upward dog. Downward facing dog, take one breath in. Empty, look forward, walk or jump. Halfway lift, bow, chair, crow pose. And you get right in there. Just throw out your doubt and work with what you've got. You can modify with a low wide-legged squat. Otherwise, lift your feet off the floor, bring the inner edges of your feet to touch. Now pull everything into the center line. Take a big breath in, here it comes. Low plank, upward dog, downward dog. Right foot forward, warrior one, rise up. Low plank, upward dog. Downward dog, left side, warrior one, go. Getting a little breathless, great. Reminder to breathe bigger, low plank. Upward dog, downward facing dog. Big, big breath in. Open your mouth, clear it. Ha, ah, I'm starting to sweat, how about you? Bring your feet together. Lift your right leg up to the ceiling. Bend your upper knee. Roll your hip open, you can stay right here or Shift forward and flip your dog. If you're flipped, look under your bottom shoulder and create a foundation for your feet. Both feet 12 o'clock. Reach your right arm straight up to the ceiling, maybe out in front of you. Now press your big toe mat into the floor and lift your pelvis with an inch higher. Now you can open up your throat, stretch the webbing with your fingers, breathe in. Three-legged dog, big stretch. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose and hold. Pull in, curl your upper spine. Straighten your arms, straighten your back leg too. Take a big breath in, look between your hands. Step through crescent lunge. Lift your back heel away from your mat. Straighten your arms up over your head. Now bend your back knee and lower it to a hover. And use that hover to help lift the front of your pelvis up as your tailbone descends like a plumb line to the floor. Take a breath in. Send your thoracic spine up to the ceiling. Take your thumbs to the back of the room. As you breathe out, humble your crescent. Reach your arms long by your side. Straighten your back leg. And move your shoulder blades into the spine line. Keep a little daylight between your front thigh and your belly. Take a spine lengthening in breath. Prayer twist to your right. Keep your eyes on your front big toenail to start and ensure that you're stacking your knee directly above your ankle. Now on this first in breath, pull your chest forward and then as you breathe out, rotate your belly toward the right side of the room. Work your thumb knuckles to the center of your sternum. Take a couple breaths. Let your breath move you. Lengthen as you breathe in. Rotate as you breathe out. Keep your back leg strong. One more full breath in. Twist, breathe out. High crescent lunge, big stretch. Go for it. Chaturanga flow. Upper dog. Downward facing dog step your right foot forward into warrior one. Right foot forward. Now go longer in your stance than warrior one. Get your heels on the line. 
And then drop your hips closer to your mat. And maybe you create a right angle with your front thigh. But only if it means that you can keep your back leg strong and straight. And you keep your belly lifted up toward your spine. Gaze past your front hand. Spin your front palm toward the ceiling. Reverse your warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Bend your front elbow, bring your forearm to your knee. Extend your top arm toward the front of the room, palm face down. Create a seal at the outer edge of your back foot. And pull your left shoulder to the wall behind you. Front of the pelvis up. You could stay with this variation. Some of you might opt for a half bind or a full bind. You could place your front hand on the floor in or outside your front foot. Drop your hips closer to your mat. Take your left lung back. Take one more breath in. Look to the floor. Low plank. Try to up. Upward dog. Downward facing dog. Breathe in. And clear the slate. Breathe out. Okay, left side on deck. Bring your feet together. Left leg, send it up to the ceiling. Bend your upper knee. Open your hips, stay, or slow motion, move into flip dog, like you're moving through molasses. You know, live in this transition and gather some intel along the way. Now peel it all open, open up the whole front line of your body. Especially if you've been a little guarded lately. What a great physical gesture to open up your heart to your higher purpose. One more breath in. Three like a dog. Extend your left leg really high. Get it up there. Now without momentum, curl in. Knee to your nose. Stack your shoulders over your wrists. Now touch it. Knee to your nose. Pull in, pull in. Grow longer arms. Look between your hands. Crescent lunge. Keep your arms up over your head. Bob your hips up and down a couple times. And check out your feet. You want to build on rock. If your feet are on a tight rope. You'll be working harder than you need to. You need to go wider left to right. Lower your back knee to a hover. And find that upper, upper region of your spine. Crescent shape. Thoracic spine, shoulder blades in, sternum up. Stretch your arms, go up and back. Humble it. Put your arms by your sides. Tighten up your back leg. Keep a little lift off in your chest. Breathe in. Make your palms meet, prayer twist to the left. You've got a good view of me. Notice how I'm drawing my thumb knuckles down to the center of my sternum as I breathe in. And as I breathe out, press your left palm into your right to rotate. And choose a point to land your eyes that does not strain your neck. So keep your chin in, in that little notch between your collarbones. A few more counts, breathe. Twist, lengthen, twist. One more round like that. Find ease in the middle of all this. Breathe in, twist, rise up, crescent lunge. Pull your thigh bones in to center line. Inhale, chaturanga low. Upper dog, downward facing dog. Left foot forward into warrior two. And go big. I'd say go home, but you're probably already home. Go long, front to back. Keep your heels on one line. Steady your gaze. Perhaps on your, your front, second fingernail. Spin your front palm, reverse your order. Tighten up your back quadricep. Extended side angle. And pull your shoulders out of your ears. Lift your belly up toward your spine. Create an open twist. You can reach your top arm behind your back. Maybe you snuggle your fingers all the way into the creases of your front hip. A few more counts. Outer edge of your back foot, press it into the floor. Move your front knee forward and a little bit to the left. Take one more breath in. Look down, vinyasa, low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Breathe in. 
Exhale out, look forward, walk or jump to your hands. Halfway lift, bow, thunderbolt. Prayer twist to your right. Source your pose from the ground up. Put your eyes on your toes, see them. And move your weight back into the center of each heel. Want your shin muscles, your quadricep muscles to burn hot. So lower your butt down a couple inches and pull your belly up and away from your thighs. And from there, you can start to rotate from your belly to the right side of the room. About five counts. You can straighten your arms. Some good tapas, some good thigh heat. Big breath in. Twist. Back to the thunderbolt, rise up, sweep. Now bow forward, separate your feet. The bad hip distance, fingers to toes, forward fold. Hook on your big toes with your peace fingers and your thumb. Lengthen your spine to the front of the studio. Bow forward. Drop your head heavy. And activate your bicep muscles like you're doing an upside down pull up. Pull the back of your head down. Tighten up the fronts of your thighs, your quadriceps, and let your hamstrings shake and bake a little bit. There's evidence that something's starting to open up, wake up. You're not forcing yourself into submission, you're just coaxing your body into a dialogue, breath by breath. Breathe in. Exhale out. Let go of your toes, walk your feet together. Bend your knees, thunderbolt. On your exhalation, prayer twist to your left. And take your right tricep past your left thigh. You have to wedge it over there and shift around a bit. And then drop your bum and test your weight distribution, left and right. You want the inner edges of your big toes to touch and about two fingers distance between your heels. Notice if your knees are like jamming into each other. Maybe keep a little space between your knees. And pull your chest forward and take your twist. Five counts. Eyes on one point. Your left shoulder head. Maybe a dot on the left wall. Maybe your left big toe. Four. Three. Lift off the fronts of your thighs. Twist more too. Chair pose, thunderbolt. Bow forward, separate your feet. This is gonna feel great. Gorilla, asana, walk your palms underneath your feet and climb your toes all the way up to the creases of your wrists, maybe past them. Bend your knees, lengthen your spine, straighten your arms, and bow. Bend your elbows, wing them out to the opposite sides of the room. And do this, move a little bit left and right, wiggle out your toes. Give your wrists a massage. I know a lot of us have been home and that means hard time on the keyboard. So massage your wrists. They need it, they appreciate it. <laughs> Slide your hands out from under your feet. Walk your feet together. Ground your feet into earth. Keep a little bend in the knee through a flat back sweep up to stand. Get your arms up over your head and into eagle pose. Bend your knees. Wrap your right leg over your left. Wrap your right arm under your left. And if your wrists don't meet, you can bring your hands to your shoulders. And keep your drishti, your gaze steady. And drop your tailbone down. Lift your elbows up to the line of your shoulders. Stack your wrists over your elbows. Sit an inch lower, breathe out. Keep your gaze steady. Inhale, sweep up, unwrap. Exhale into the left side. Simple vinyasa move, pose to pose. Even those transitions between the poses are poses too. Pull into center line. Drop your hips an inch lower, breathe out. Sweep up. Bring your palms through heart center, arms by your side, Tadasana. Take a breath here, inhale. Exhale. Standing leg raise, bring your left hand to your hip, lift your right knee to the level of your hips. 
It's a great option to stay with. Or you could hook your peace fingers and thumb around your big toe or take the outer edge of your lifted foot and extend your leg forward. You want to stand as tall as you possibly can. Now take your upper leg to the right. And try this, take your gaze to the left. And if you tip out, so what? You just come right back in again. Stand tall, give you a smile, that'll help. Take your gaze forward, bring your leg forward. Straighten your arms up toward the ceiling. Straighten your lifted leg if it's not already. Sweep back into airplane pose. Reach your 10 fingertips to the back of the studio. Make your palms face the floor. And put your mind's eye in your lifted baby toe, your right baby toe. Point it straight down to the floor to square up your hips. And get longer from your hip creases to your armpits to the crown of your head. Bring your palms together at heart center. Half moon. Place your left hand on a block or the floor. Keep your right hand at your hip. Start with your gaze down for more stability. Little by little, start to stack your right hip over your left hip, your right shoulder over your left hip, the hip for half moon. Reach your right arm up to the ceiling if you like. We'll pull everything into center line. Press down through your standing big toe mound. Maybe you take Shapasana if you want to bend your upper knee and catch your ankle. If you're doing that, kick, kick your ankle into your hand. And go big. If you fall out, so what? It just means your top leg comes to the floor sooner than you want it to. Give up any concern around that. Take one more breath in. Bring your lifted foot to the floor, ragdoll. Shake it out. Lock your feet together. Bring your hands to your hips. Press down, rise up. Extended mountain pose. And we'll get all of this good stuff on the other side. Take your right hand to your hip. Lift your left knee to the level of your, your hips. You can stay with your knee, or you can go for the full extension. One, two, three, four. Take your lifted knee to the left or your foot. Look past your right shoulder. One, two, three, four. Bring your lifted knee center. Straighten your arms up to the ceiling. Extend your lifted leg. Grow an inch taller. Get some elevation. Airplane. If you get a yes for a little turbulence, you can bend and straighten your standing leg a couple times. Contract your front ribs in, breathe into your mid back. Bring your palms to heart center, half moon, right hand to the floor, make like a claw with your, your right hand, left hand to your hip. Snuggle your chin into your chest and incrementally, breath by breath, create your expression. Well, go beyond the physical form of the pose and give it some love and some life and joy. Who cares what it looks like? <laughs> you can bend your upper knee and take your pasana. That's an option. Take one more big breath in. Grow longer in every direction. Bring your top hand to the floor, your top foot to the floor. Ragdoll. Shake it out. Walk your feet together. Press your feet into earth, hands to your hips, do a flat back rise up to stand, stretch up. Tree pose, balance on your left leg. Bring the bottom of your right foot to your inner left thigh or calf, or you can even make a kickstand. Bring your palms to heart center and draw everything into the center line of your body. Start with your thumbs at your sternum, your thumb knuckles at your sternum, so you create a powerful energy field between your palms. And from your strong roots, you can grow your tree. If you want to take your arms up over your head, keep your gaze steady. Just down through your standing leg, pull in the center line, and grow a bit longer through your lateral body, from your hip bone, through your armpits, through your pinky fingers, again another inch. One more breath. Bring your palms to heart center, feet together. Switch sides, tree pose. And spread out your 10 toes. Equal pressure between the sole of your lifted foot and your standing inner thigh, so you pull everything into the midline. On your next in breath, grow, grow. From your roots till the soil, 
and go up and grow your branches, your leaves, big breath in, bring your palms to heart center, bring your feet together to the floor, walk up to the front of your mat if you're not there. One more standing series and we're down. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, bow forward. Halfway lift, low plank, step or jump, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, right foot forward to warrior two. Straighten your legs, Trikonasana, triangle pose. And don't be in such a rush to get your right hand to the floor. Pull your hip crease back. Reach your right fingertips to the front wall. And now, right hand lands on something, either your shin or outside your front shin on the floor, left hand to your hip, up to the sky. Spread out your toes. Spread out your fingers. Pull everything into the center line, press down into the floor, and now radiate out, radiate out, full expression. On your inhalation, rise up to stand. Turn your right foot in to face the left side of the room. Have the outer edges of your feet parallel to the front and back ends of your mat. Bring your hands to your hips. Wide-legged straddle fold, breathe in. Bow forward, bring your hands to the floor. Lengthen your spine. As you breathe out, drop the back of your head down. Walk your hands through your feet. You could stay with the chaturanga arm. You could reach all 10 fingers to the wall straight out in front of your eyes. Check out your feet. Make sure you're drawing your inner ankles back and pressing your outer ankles down. So you want to see some daylight in the arches of your feet. Breathe out. Bring your hands to your hips. Press down through your feet through a flat back rise up to stand. Take a quarter turn to the front end of your mat. Step your back foot halfway up your mat to set up the twisting triangle. You might need to go wider, left to right, longer front to back. Reach your left arm up to the ceiling. Keep your right hand at your hip and get really tall. Tailbone to the floor, crown the head to the ceiling. Go forward before down into twisting triangle. You can land your left hand to the inside or the outside of your front foot. You keep your right hand at your hip to help tease your sit bones back. And now from your belly button, twist to the right side of the room. Maybe you take your right arm up to the ceiling. You might need to readjust your feet. A few more counts. Move with your breath. Breathe and lengthen as you inhale. Twist and soften into the spiral as you breathe out. One more breath in. Look to your mat, vinyasa, or just step to down dog. That's where we're all going to meet. Left foot forward, warrior two. And go long, go long, front to back, between your heels, straighten your legs, and use your exhalation to land your left hand to the floor or your shin, right arm up to the sky. You want to stack your joints on a vertical plane, right hip on top of your left hip, right shoulder on top of your left shoulder. It's a universal principle of alignment. Spread out your toes. Big breath in, length. Breathe out, right shoulder blade, move it back to the wall behind you. Stand up. Turn your left foot in to face the right side of the room. Interlace your hands to your low back or take a bind of your choice. Squeeze your upper arm bones into the center line and bow forward. Drop your head toward the floor. You can move around a little bit, bend one knee and the other. Nothing is 100% static. We're human beings, we're meant to move and flow. Let go of your bind, bring your hands to your hips to a flat back rise up. Turn to face the front of your mat, step your back foot up a bit, square up, hips and shoulders to the front of the studio, right arm up to the sky, twisting triangle, exhale, go forward, before down. Inhale, length, press through the center of your back heel, get long, and exhale, rotate. You might only move like 10 degrees on the twist, fine, you wanna prioritize Lengthening your spine over how deep you twist. Tighten up your legs, breathe in, look to your mat, Chaturanga. Upward dog, pause, savor it, maybe sway a little side to side. 
Downward facing dog, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. Come forward to high plank and come to your forearms for forearm plank. This is a full body core strengthener. It gets everything. Lower your hips align with your shoulders. Move your collarbones toward your thumbs and your tailbone toward your heels. And steady your gaze and deepen your breath. If you need to move a little bit or put a knee or two down, and come back and join us, you can do that. We'll hold here for 10 counts. Tighten up your quadriceps. Five, I'll count slow for your benefit. Four, three, two, lower down to your belly. Rest your right cheek or your left cheek on the mat, arms long by your sides. Take a big back body breath in. Ah, clear it away. Bring your forehead to your mat and cross your right ankle over your left Achilles tendon. Interlace your hands at your low back. We'll set up for locust pose. Now pull everything into the center line. Flex your feet and inhale, lift both ends up. Get long, grow longer legs, grow a longer neck. Tighten up your tricep, lift your knuckles away from your tailbone, maybe use a strap if your hands don't meet. One more breath, and come back down, rest your other cheek on the mat, full breath in, and get the rest while it's here, breathe out. <sighs> Cross your left front ankle on top of your right Achilles tendon. Interlace your hands with your low back and use a strap or a towel. If you have the interlace of your fingers, take the opposite pinky on the bottom. Pull into center line, get long, press your pelvis into the mat, lift up. Five, four, three, go up a little bit higher, two, and come back down. Upward facing dog or cobra and stay a moment. Pin your shoulders to your back. Pull your belly in and out toward your spine. And just be a yes for exploring what's possible in up dog as opposed to seeking out what's next. Okay, one more breath in up dog. Now go back. Downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Look forward, walk or jump through to a seat. Lie down on your back, bridge pose. Plant your feet and take a look left and right. Make sure your feet are on 12 o'clock. Lift your hips up to the ceiling and shimmy your shoulders into the spine line. You can interlace your hands at your low back or again use a strap or a towel. Press through your big toe mounds to get the internal rotation of your thigh bones and guide your tailbone toward the back of your knees. Move your finger and knuckles toward your heels and your sternum toward the wall behind you. Go up, go up, breath in. And slowly descend, upper back, middle back, lower back, breathe in. Exhale out, Make two more. Back bends. Your body is ready for this. You've been working up to this point to prepare your spine. So, bridge is available. Wheel highly encouraged, especially if you don't like it. <laughs> Bring your hands up outside your ears. Press your hands and your feet into the floor. And on your inhalation, press up. And be a yes, for the resistance. The first one's always the toughest. Break right through those layers of resistance, move around a little bit. You can turn the corners of your mouth up, that'll help a lot. Press, straighten your arms, your legs, breathe in. Tuck your chin and slowly come back down to earth. Breathe in. Breathe out. Before we move up into the next one, Little mental exercise, take your attention off of what you don't want to have happen and put it on what you do want to have happen. Just notice if that shifts anything. And with that in mind, ready, set, press up, lift up. Big rainbow 
of love, big heart opener. It's so important to open up the front line of our body. If life wants to pull you inward, this is how you counteract that. Five, four, straighten your arms, straighten your legs. Three, it's perfect, perfectly imperfect. Two, tuck your chin and come down, come down. Sutta Baddha Konasana and savor in the reward. Bring the bottoms of your feet together. Place your left hand on your heart and your right hand on your belly. You can have your eyes open or you can have your eyes closed and focused on your third internal eye between your, inside your forehead. And slow it all down. Slow down the rate of your heart. Stretch out your in-breaths, your out-breaths. Slow down the train of thoughts. Breathe bigger than your thoughts. It's a powerful practice. It's designed to take your attention off your thoughts and bring you into life as it's happening right now out of virtual reality into real life right here. Breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. Press your knees together, hug them into your body. And keep your right knee into your body and extend your left leg long to the front edge of your mat. Have your left heel hover off the floor. Interlace your fingers on your right shin and give your right knee a hug. You can bring your forehead to your knee. A little bit of a low back stretch. Switch sides. Hug both knees into your chest. Rock a little bit left and right. Knees go one direction. Your gaze goes the opposite direction. And you could stay with that or you could take happy baby. If you're taking happy baby, create two right angles with your legs. Catch the outer edges of your feet. Guide your knees outside your rib cage down toward the floor and work your sacrum toward the front edge of your mat. Relax your shoulders into your back. You can move here too. Maybe straighten one leg and the other. And bring your knees into your chest and rock and roll three or four times forward and back. Make your way to down dog. You can make your way via a vinyasa or you could just roll over your ankles and step back to downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, half pigeon. You could also take this on your back in a figure four version. I'll demonstrate half pigeon. Bring your right knee up behind your wrist joint. Walk your right foot to the left corner of your mat and walk your left leg back. Square your hips up to the front of the mat. You could slip a block or a rolled up towel under your right hip if it doesn't descend onto the floor. Lengthen your spine, breathe in. Walk your hands forward and down. Rest your forehead on the floor. You can make a pillow with your hands or your fists. Put your attention on your breathing. It's easy to fall into a stalemate these long, sustained, earthy postures. Disrupt that with your breath. About five deep breaths in half pigeon. Maintain the integration. Flex your front foot, your toes toward your shin. Point your back foot, or you could curl your back toes under. One more big breath in. Exhale. Lift your chest, walk your hands back under your shoulders, press back to three-legged dog. You can open up your hip, and bend your upper knee. As a transition, bring your right foot back down to the floor. Half pigeon, left side. 
You could take your left side on your back in a figure four version. It doesn't have to match what you did on the other side. Breathe in and then walk your hands forward and down. Work with what's right here. Some days there's more resistance, some days there's more freedom, and this is the magic of coming back to your mat. Day after day, year after year, you start to discover that the body is always changing. You have a practice to balance it out. There's so much intelligence within us. We just have to get out of our heads and listen. No knowledge needed. Take three more deep breaths and half pigeon. Deep, deep breath in. Exhale. Inhale, walk your hands back under your shoulders. Press back to a three-legged dog. Bend your upper knees like a fire hydrant from here. And we'll all meet in a seat. Step your legs through, extend them long out in front of you. For seated forward bend. Before you start bending, Locate your sit bones. Bend your knees quite a bit. You need to move your hips around. Flex your feet. Stack your shoulders over your hips. Reach your arms up to the ceiling. Big stretch. Bring your hip creases. Bow forward. And your hands land where they land. It could be the outer edges of your shins, the outer edges of your feet. And take another breath in to lengthen, especially your mid to low back. And round over your thighs. Your chin is the last thing to come in. Keep your belly on your thighs, and maybe from here you can walk one foot forward and the other. Keep your legs really active. Fire up your quadriceps. And work the baby toe edge of your feet back toward your hips. Breathe out. Rise up. Inverted tabletop. Bring your hands behind you. Now you can point your ten fingers toward the front edge of your mat, or you can take your hands, your fingers, and point them to the left and right sides of the room. Plant your feet. Send your tailbone toward your heels, and on an in-breath, press through your big toe mounds and your finger mounds, and lift your hips up high, high as they'll go. It's a very active stretch. Tighten up your triceps, your quadriceps. Open up your throat if it doesn't bother your neck. And go an inch higher. Bring your tailbone back toward your heels onto the floor. Lie down on your back and choose an inversion. You have options. If you have a block, you can place it under your low back. Send your legs up in the air for waterfall pose. You could also take shoulder stand. Start by sending your legs over your head and plow. Hands to your low back, walk your elbows in. Send your legs up to the sky. You could also take classical headstand. I'm demonstrating Shoulder stand. Super active in your legs. Reach your big toe mounds up to the ceiling. Move your hips to the back edge of your mat and your heels to the front edge of your mat. You create a strong, powerful line of energy. Very little weight on my head. No weight on my neck. It's in my triceps and my upper back. A few more counts. Keep breathing. Inhale if you're in plow, or excuse me, if you're in shoulder stands, transition to plow pose. Lower your legs over your head. If your toes comfortably touch the floor, you could take it a step further into Karni Padasana, deaf man's pose. Or if you're in waterfall, you could stay right where you are. If you're in headstand, you'll pike down and take child's pose for several breaths.
from wherever you are. Move your block out of the way if it's underneath you. Support your low back if you're in plow. And lower one vertebra at a time down onto your back. Extend your legs long out in front of you. Stretch your arms up over your head. Big stretch in opposite directions. Stretch out your fingers, your toes, inhale. Bring one knee at a time into your chest and pull in. Pull into a, a tiny ball, forehead to knees. Squeeze, give yourself a hug for showing up and doing this good work on your mat. And stretch everything out. Find a comfortable position for Shavasana. Let your ankles flop open. Arms by your sides, relax your shoulders. Take a deep breath in. Open your mouth, breathe out and rest. Drop into your natural rhythm of breath, Shavasana. Breathe in, breathe out. Bring a little movement to your fingers and your toes. Rock your back of your head side to side. Bring one knee at a time into your belly and roll over onto your right side. I'm rolling to my left so I can face the camera. And rest your ear on your upper arm. Just drop all your weight. Take a moment. And inhale, rise up to a seat. You can sit cross-legged or prop yourself up on a block. And sit up tall. Relax your shoulders. Bring your palms to heart center, your thumb knuckles touch your heart center. Relax. We'll close together with one ohm. Start with a full round of breath, inhale. Exhale. Inhale for ohm. forehead center it's your center of intuition inner knowing trust it let it guide you forward into these times of uncertainty and beyond it will always lead you down the right path breathe in bow to each other your jiva yoga community and say namaste Ma namaste everybody be well i love you we all love you and we'll see you soon thank you